that druid. I like this combo. It's basically the whole deck, is we sit around and do nothing and wait till we have higher mana. So these cards are all great at sitting around doing nothing. So we're going to continue doing that and then take giant power turns later on in the game with our reduced cost things from below and facelesses and ancestral spirits and just just all the nasty stuff. I pass. I'm not doing anything with this. Totem pass. Quality deck. Turn four. Just gonna play four two divine shield most of the time. Didn't see that one coming. I don't think it's worth a hex. We're just going to keep armoring up. He's going to kill our totems. Gains us life. Life is good. Totems already put in four life. I don't think we need to overreact. We can elemental destruction next turn. It's all good. If anybody plays the 5-7, we'll just high roll on it and then lava shock it. Of course. Raven Idol into that. Now it's intimidating. We have Healing Wave in our hand though, so... I'm just gonna coin Sylvanas out here. Cause a little bit of board tension and then uh, clean up following turn. Alright, well, we only need to roll high on one of these two and then we clear the board completely. So. Damn it, we took the wrong one. We can unlock next turn and have five mana to play Earth Elemental. So we can heal us or we can heal our guy. Let's heal us. We're a good guy. 14 life seems good enough. Hopefully this trade happens. If it doesn't, that means he's... Oh jeez, double swipe my face. That is vicious. No, just swipe my face and then hero... What? He's really prioritizing damage, I guess. I guess that's fair. Sucks that that guy's still alive, but it's not worst case. Taking care of that. A little this, a little that. Just need an ancestral spirit and then we got it on lock. We got sick card advantage right now. I'm starting to fizzle him out. We have two hexes still, so like anything he plays, we can just get rid of it. Five five probably not worth a hex. I'm just play around five five to contest. Try and maybe faceless this Karen so we can get two Karens with Arnaz Oss, so then we get double Karen and Sylvanas. It'd be pretty dirty. Roop it a scroop it a pee pa dude to just subscribe. Thanks for subscribing, dude. Welcome to the Bad Cave Team thing. I appreciate the support. Sorry for butchering your name. I don't know. Your name is scary. I don't know how to approach that. But yeah, man. Thanks for the support. Thanks for being awesome, dude. Damn, we can't get more Cairns. I guess we'll just have to settle with just Karen Solanus. It's fine. We can get the Faceless Ancestral Spirit combo going off on something big later on, like Earth Elemental, the other things from below, or whatever. Rubik's Cube's Pie Dude. Okay, I get it now. I was just trying to blend everything together, because nothing of it's capitalized on the thing. And that just destroyed my brain. Rubik's Cube Pie Dude. It makes so much more sense, though. Alright, so Druid doesn't like Sylvanas, so let's see how he likes four of them. Probably not a lot. We'll draw last, rub the salt in. That is a good draw for him. 
Is it good enough to beat four Sylvanas's though? Find lethal. Oh god, if he's able to break through this board, god bless. <laughs> he's just gonna... He needs, like, Yogg and a mass to spell. Or Yogg and a double pyroblast my face, you know? Innervade Yogg. No, that's not gonna do it. Nice taunt. So if you wait with the Yoggin load core, you can't play it to like turn 10, and you, your removal spell has to be killing their thing, so you have to have 4 mana to kill their 8 mana worth of development, you know? Which is a bit...